this video i want to show you everything you need to do before you can migrate your pie into minutes so guys if you are among those people that are still stuck at the kyc tentative or you have not been given kyc or on your grace period here yeah, let me show it to you here yeah. so you can see that the grace period given to me on this account this is not actually my account this is someone account close to me so but i have to use it as an example since this is a new account so for me i have passed my kyc and i'm transacting with pi already so these are the nine things you need to do on your pi network before your account can get migrated to the minute here you can see it here so how will you do it the first one is to go to your play store or apple store and download pi browser so to do that go to your play store right now and search for pi browser and download it so this is pi browser here on play store you can see with over right now is over 10 million plus download maybe later it will get to 50 million download but right now it's 10 million so after you download it then this will show completed it will show completed download the pi browser app from the ios app store or google play store there you can create a non-custodial pi wallet verify kyc and access other apps the pi browser is essential to complete multiple steps of the meaning transfer so without the pi browser then you cannot do any other things so the next thing to do is to create your pi wallet you need to create your pi wallet so to do that you need to click on here so after you click on it it will take you to the pi browser from here we will, we will do the rest of the step so let me click on it right now and it will take me to the pi browser So as you can see it's taking me here it's take me here to the pi browser and you are going to see what is there so immediately it will take you straight to the pi wallet automatically it will take you to the pi wallet as you can see it's loading so it directs you to this place and right now since you have not quit accounts before since you don't have account this is where you're going to click you can create a new wallet now click on it and you have to click on generate new wallet this one right here and click on it generate new wallet so when you are generating new wallet they are going to show you something that is your money something like this you are going to see something like this which is your mnemonic that that is your past phrase you have to keep these words very safe you have to keep it very safe copy it and paste it somewhere very safe copy it and save it somewhere very safe so after that after you have saved it very safe don't show it to anybody now click on use fingerprint also store you remember all these things store your password secure on your phone and use fingerprint to unlock your wallet store it very safe write it down your passphrase was just randomly generated on your phone and is never sent to the pi server as a non-custodial wallet your wallet passphrase is exclusive accessible only to you if you store your passphrase in your phone securely storage you can retrieve it later with your approval now 
they write something here show alternative let's click there let's see what is there first so the alternative is to copy alternative says copy so right now i've copied it already and i want to use a fingerprint also i have saved my wallet let me just use this this later i will i will set use fingerprint later so you click on that and click on i have saved my passphrase so the passphrase you you click you, you create now now then you will have to input it here to login you have to input everything here to login now paste the passphrase there then click on unlock with passphrase but if you click on that uh with fingerprint there you can use your fingerprint to be unlocking your wallet anytime every time so do that now so as you can see i have used the passphrase to log in right now this is it you can see pi minute up here you can see this is five minute up here if you look at it you will see zero balance zero balance there so let's see how many times again if you click up here at uh, this small arrow here you can still see the pi test need there you can see this pi test need this one is not a reply it's just for testing purpose why this one is a reply so let's see so they are asking you to input your fingerprint that is use your fingerprint next time you don't have to be using the passphrase all the time so click on confirm so after you enable your fingerprint this is your your wallet the one you will be using to receive money searchable username click on this one so that later people can use your username to send money to you now click on confirm continue so this is it this is your buy wallet this is your buy wallet if you go up here you can see your passphrase here in case you still don't put it down you can create testnet wallet here click here to show your passphrase your passphrase is very important don't lost it make sure you write it down keep it very safe you can use this to hide your balance and you can use your fingerprint yes to set your fingerprint you can do that so successfully enable fingerprint authentication so i have input my fingerprint right now so the next thing to do is maybe you want to create a testnet wallet you can click on create here testnet wallet that testnet is just for testing purpose the pi there is not re it's not a reply so you should know that so for instance let's say you have created your testnet wallet welcome to the pi testnet wallet click on continue to create your pi testnet wallet so the same function on testnet is still the same function on the repi wallet so let me just continue with the video with this real one so in case you want to send some someone to you know, buy in case you want to send someone pie this is where you are going to click pay then you can use qr code to receive from someone or you can scan their this thing you can scan their wallet you can use this to receive from someone you, let's say you read that service or you you, you you want to be accepted by for your payment you can just print out this can just print it out and you can be using it to receive pie so why the manual wallet here yeah, manual add wallet click on it then input the amount of pie you want to send here the transaction fee is this 0.01 it is a fixed 
free so the wallet of the person input it here this one is optional you can write anything there then you click on send you will just click on send and in less than three seconds the money will be sent to the person you can use this to request money from someone when you input the person's uh, wallet address here then you can input the type the amount you want to request from the person type it in here then click on request when the person accepts your request the money will be deducted from the person automatically automatically it will be deducted from the person so that is it on that now let me now show you how to link your pi wallet with your bra with your pi mining app now click here to copy your wallet address then go back to your pi pi mining app so on your pi mining app click on minute click on minute then you have to go to minute checklist this one right here click on it minute checklist you can see that create wallets have turned to green right now so right now we want to confirm this one this one i have already done my lockup i'm coming i have already done my lockup before my lockup i think i've explained it to you already so in case i have not explained it uh this it's here yeah, lock up so going to checklist now so click on confirm your pi wallet now click on confirm click on it then input your passphrase here after you put it here then click on confirm your wallet so i have input it and it's loading right now so as you can see uh you can see that i have linked my wallet to pi so i've done about one and two three and four so the next one is to go with this secure my account this secure your account you have to link any of these things is it that your phone number or your 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 secure your account for kyc i mean it is it that your, you use your phone number or you secure it with your email address now click on it now is that you secure it with these two phone number or with facebook i don't have facebook on this phone yet so i can still go with phone number so you just have to you do that right now so let me go to the third the sixth one a yeah, acknowledgement so this one you have to read everything there are a lot of things there you have to read then <clears throat> to acknowledge that you want to receive the token this is a legal document it's a legal document so you have to read everything the next one is to submit your kyc this one right now they will give you kyc they will give you kyc with this one they will give you the kyc you don't have to do anything you just have to wait until they give you the kyc option the kyc option they give you the kyc pop-up notification that you should do your kyc so make sure you ready your id card your national id card your driver license or your passport any of these three just ready it so after that you have to wait for your kyc result after that one then you will have to wait for 14 good days yeah after your kyc is successful you have to wait for like 14 days before your money your pi will be migrated to your mainnet wallet the pi you have in here you have here which is your transferable will be migrated to this place will be migrated to this place so those are everything you need to know that is the step everything you need to know every single things you will need to know about you need to know about uh how to do your verification on pi so that you will, will be able to claim your pi so that you'll be able to claim your pie after i do all this one after i do all this one 
this one this one and this one this this yeah deadline this we start working it will start counting it will start counting so i have to finish everything before 92 days or else i'm going to lose my pie everything i'm going to lose it so guys this is the update i have for you i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like button and if this is your first time here on this channel don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that whenever i drop another video you will quickly see the video notification on your phone screen so that you will not miss any of my updates so guys goodbye for now i remain banking goodbye for now